Let's quickly digress to discuss the intersection of events and how we often misjudge them. A couple of psychologists named Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky devoted several years to studying the psychology of how people make decisions, their work and how biases affect judgment won them a Nobel Prize for economics. One particular experiment involved them giving the following narrative to a set of 88 participants. Linda is 31 years old, single, outspoken, and very bright. In college, she majored in philosophy. While a student, she was deeply concerned with the issues of discrimination and social justice, and also participated in anti-nuclear demonstrations. The participants were then given a list of eight descriptors for Linda, and they were asked to rank order them from one to eight, from the most likely descriptor of Linda to the least likely descriptor. The eight descriptors were, Linda is an elementary teacher. Linda works in a bookstore and takes yoga classes. Linda is active in the feminist movement. Linda is a psychiatric social worker. Linda is a member of the League of Women Voters. Linda is a bank teller. Linda is an insurance salesperson. And finally, Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. Even though they shouldn't have, they took the average of the 88 ranks for each of the descriptors. Remember, this is an ordinal scale, so we really shouldn't be taking the average, as that's a numerical construct that shouldn't work with ordinal numbers. However, there are Nobel Prize winners, so let's just use their approach. You see the average rank of each descriptor on the screen. On average, the descriptor, Linda is active in the feminist movement, rang true with 88 participants on average. The second rank descriptor is, Linda is a psychiatric social worker. The descriptor ranked least likely on average was, Linda is an insurance salesperson. Let's identify three average rankings in particular. Linda is active in the feminist movement. Linda is a bank teller. And Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. Of these three, Linda being active in the feminist movement was considered most likely on average based on her narrative. Being a bank teller was least likely and the combination of bank teller and active in the feminist movement was somewhere in between. But note that being a bank teller and being active in the feminist movement is the intersection of the other two events individually. It's the overlap of the two individual events, Linda is a bank teller, and Linda is active in the feminist movement. The intersection of the two must, by definition, be no more likely than the less likely of the two individual events. Being two things is less likely, or at best as likely, than being one thing. The participants completely threw away logic of probability when a bias about Linda entered their minds based on the narrative. The narrative told the participants that active in the feminist movement described Linda regardless of its less likely combination with a bank teller. Tversky and Kahneman thought that perhaps all eight possibilities were somehow clouding the participants' judgment. So they asked a different set of participants to rank only the three descriptors, Linda is active in the feminist movement, Linda is a bank teller, and Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. And the new set of participants made the same error. They still let bias affect their judgment, saying that being a bank teller and active in the feminist movement was more likely than being a bank teller on its own. If details that we are given fit our mental image of something, then the more details we are given about a scenario, the more real and even probable we think that scenario is.